The first three seasons of Regular Show really put the series on the map for being anything but regular. This show became synonymous with having some of the craziest and most random episodes to ever air on TV. But as time went on, the show really evolved from just random week to week episodes to a thrilling and epic series. And this evolution was shown not only in the storytelling, but also in the show's cast. As the show quickly pivoted from following the day to day random adventures of Mordecai and Rigby to shining a light on all the members at the park and building the show around an ensemble cast of the seven park members that we all know and love today. But do you remember the time the creators of regular show added an eighth member? Thomas was a character that didn't get as much focus as other park members, but when he did, he was arguably one of the most interesting characters in the entire show. So in this video, I want to take a look back at Thomas, his introduction, the evolution of his character, and his eventual exit from the series. Thomas made his first appearance in the season 4 special Exit 2 B. As Muscle Man is a college professor, High Five Ghost is a pizza delivery man, and Skips is an auto repair man. The three then hunt down and find all the park members restoring the only signature they need left being Benson's. The group then heads back to the park to find Benson but runs into Thomas. Thomas not wanting to get in trouble tells the group that they need to leave. At the end of the episode, Thomas gets congratulated by all the park members and welcomed as their new intern. Hey mom. No, no, I, I'm not gonna quit anymore. Yeah, yeah. I think this internship's gonna be really cool. Now from Thomas being introduced in this action packed special alongside the role he played in it, many people thought Thomas character was gonna play a big role in the story. Maybe not to the same degree as Mordecai and Rigby, but a lot of people thought Thomas character was gonna be right up there with Benson, Skips, and maybe even Muscle Man. But fans of the show would quickly realize the writers had no intentions of actually elevating Thomas to this level. Although Thomas would have some episodes that were focused more around him like Starter Pack and Thomas Fights Back, for the most part Thomas character was just summed up to being the park intern, being the punching bag of many of the park members jokes. And when he wasn't that, Thomas was just kind of set up to be a background character. But all this would change in the season 6 episode, The Real Thomas. The episode would start off with Rigby waking up in the middle of the night to get something to eat. But while heating up a burrito, he would hear noise coming from outside and go check it out. He would then walk out to see Thomas dressed up as a ninja doing martial arts to take out a secret agent. And when Rigby walks up to question what Thomas is doing, Thomas tries to play it off like it's all a dream. And before Rigby can even question it, Thomas knocks him out. Rigby then wakes up the next day trying to convince all the park members that Thomas is a spy, but none of them believe him. We then cut to Benson and his new girlfriend who is oddly enthusiastic about seeing every aspect of the park. Fast forward again in the episode and we see that Rigby still trying to convince the park members that Thomas is a spy, showing them the sprinklers that Thomas installed that have Russian writing on it and telling them that when Thomas called his mom he brought up the word Russian. But none of them believe Rigby until Muscle Man opens up a cabinet where a CIA agent falls on him and Rigby points out that this is the same one that Thomas was fighting the night before. Mordecai and Rigby then go look for Benson for help but end up finding Skips and Pops tied up in the AV equipment room. Benson then gets handcuffed and tossed into the same room and is revealed that his new girlfriend was also a Russian spy. Thomas then comes to the same room and is revealed that he was a Russian spy named Nikolai the whole time. It's then revealed that Thomas' mission the whole time was to go undercover and gain the park members trust and then fade into the background so that he could set up around the park so that it can eventually be stolen and transferred over to Russia. And let me just say that is one of the craziest ways to explain why Thomas was a background character for almost 3 seasons. We then cut to the park members who are being tied up and transferred in a truck that's heading straight towards the middle of the sea. But Muscle Man and High Five Ghost pull up with a golf cart to help the crew escape at the last minute. The crew then uses Pops' flying car to head towards Thomas's helicopter to get the control panel he's using to fly the park to Russia. Benton's fake Russian spy girlfriend then reveals that the real plan isn't even to steal the park. The plan is to bring pieces of America over to Russia to blow it up piece by piece, and the park is just the first stop. Thomas not wanting anybody to get hurt and not knowing what the real plan was doesn't want to go through with the plan. And after learning that they were going to offer him a full time position at the park and remembering all the good times he's had with the crew over the past two years, Thomas decides to save the park fighting off his partner while also helping Rigby get the control panel to send the park back to America. Once the park is saved, Benson once again offers Thomas a full time position at the park. And while Thomas appreciates the offer, he knows he's a wanted man in both America and Russia now. Thomas then thanks the park crew for being the only buddies he's had his whole life, and then he runs off into the sunset. Thomas would actually make one more major appearance in the season 7 episode Guys Night 2. The episode would start off with Thomas pulling up an old man disguised with pizza to the park, and Muscle Man, Mordecai, Rigby, and High Five Ghosts are all happy to see him. 
Thomas tells them that he's tired of being a fugitive and having to look over his shoulders everywhere he goes. So he says he's made a plan to escape the country and live a peaceful and new life. But before he goes, he wants to hang out with the park crew one more time because they're the only friends he's ever had his whole life. And obviously the park crew accepts. Pops then pulls up and the six have a classic boys night doing all the activities they did in the first one. After a couple hours of fun, it gets close to the time that Thomas has to leave to be at his rendezvous point. But the guys insist that Thomas comes with them for one last meal at Wing Kingdom. Thomas accepts, but as soon as he takes his mask off in public, he gets attacked by CIA agents. The crew then uses Pops' car to try to escape and get Thomas to his rendezvous point. They make it to the outside of the train area and run on foot to the rendezvous point while being chased by agents. The crew then makes it to a water tunnel that's right before Thomas's train. And with the agents following right behind them, the only chance Thomas has is to jump. Thomas then jumps to try to catch the train, but he's too short and ends up falling in the water. And with Thomas falling in the water, the crew as well as the agents both think he's dead. But after the agents leave, Thomas floats back up in a submarine and tells the park crew that this was all part of his plan to escape. He thanks them again for helping him escape as well as taking him to his first and only guys night. And then he sinks the submarine back into the water and rides away to his freedom. And other than that, that's pretty much the end of Thomas' story. You can see him one more time in his submarine in the season 7 finale when the park is flying into the air, but outside of that, Thomas' story ends here. This really convoluted and interesting story about being a Russian spy. And the craziest part about it was, Thomas wasn't even meant to be a spy. In an interview, J.Q. Quintel would go on to say that they really had no plans of making Thomas a spy, and it only came up later after he saw discussions online about if Thomas was ever going to evolve as a character. But regardless on if it was planned or not, Thomas ended up being one of my favorite characters in all of regular show, and he easily had a top 5 story. But let me know in the comments, what did you think about Thomas as a character? Did you like him as a spy? Did you think he should have just stayed the park intern? And as always, if you like the video please hit the thumbs up to help push the content out to more people and make sure to follow me on all my socials where i talk about everything from anime to animated shows like regular show and until then it's been your boy corn xv and i'm off this